Hello and thank you for choosing Holcroft Nissan to purchase your new Duke. This is just a short handover video to go over all the points so that you know exactly what to do when you collect your brand new car. This is the exciting bit. You're in your brand new car and first of all we need to get comfortable. So to move forward and back you just use the bar underneath the front seat and then down to the right hand side you've got your lever. Now this will take it either up or down whichever way you want to go. And just behind that is also the arc for your back so you can go forward or backwards there. Now just under here, you've got your lever release, and this is for your rake, forward, backwards, up and down on your steering wheel. And once you're happy, put your seatbelt on, and you do need to put your foot on the brake and dip your clutch before you start the car, and you just hit this button here as long as the key is inside the vehicle. We're gonna go from bottom to top and all the way across so that we can just get a good idea of all your controls. So starting from the bottom, we've got your armrest just here, with a little bit of space and then just down here you've got your handbrake now you can do this either manually or automatically so to manually release the handbrake you just push down with your foot on the brake and pull up you just go make sure your foot's on the brake or else it won't engage now auto hold will just hold you when you sat on a hill that just means that you're not going to roll back and once you get used to it it's really easy now this button here is your drive mode so you've got up for sport down for eco and you press down again and it takes you back to standard. I'm gonna be honest, my favorite mode is sport. So moving forward onto the gear stick, we've got six speeds. So you've got first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And then reverse is just you pull up underneath, across to the left and into gear. And then you'll notice that your reversing camera comes on and on your TFT screen, you're gonna see that your parking sensors are now active. Just down here, uh, you've got your USB port there and you've also got an auxiliary input for your phone if you want to play your music. You can also play through Bluetooth as well, but we'll go through that in a moment. Now just up here you've got your air conditioning, so your temperature is on your left hand side. Now if you do set your temperature to a certain degree, you can press the auto button and the car will automatically set the fan speed to get you exactly where you want on your temperature. Or when you turn this side here, it's going to put you back to manual. Now you've got your on and off just there. This is for your front windscreen uh, to go straight towards it and it will turn it on automatically for full power. Then next to that you've got your mode settings. So you've got windscreen and feet, windscreen only, straight onto the driver and driver and feet. Now your vents are going to be that, that way for off and back to the middle for on. Okay, so moving on you've got your hazard lights there and then we've got your, your full display screen here so home always takes you back to this screen and then from here you can go anywhere you want using the system so you've got your map just there and to set a destination it's really easy you just click on street address and type in your postcode and then if you go back you've also got loads of different things you've got destinations by Google which is what you can pay your phone up to using the app and also points of interest and you can find out what's close to you your audio system has got DAB, FM and AM radio as well. So to get onto your DAB menu, you just press DAB menu and you can scroll through all your channels here. And then your volume is just on this side. If you want to turn the volume off, just press that button in and it will tell you there that your audio is off and it will take you back to the screen that you were last in. Your, your camera button doesn't bring on the camera, that's only when you go into reverse. What that does is just tells you that you can have your predictive course lines on. So when you turn your steering wheel, it's going to guide you exactly where the car's going to go as to where you're steering to. And then when you come out of reverse, that's going to go back off. Then go on to steering controls and your lights and wipers. So first of all, your lights, you're always either on auto or you can turn them on manually. Now there are your driving lights and that's your main beams. If you push this stalk away, you'll notice in your dash that it comes up as an automatic light switch now because what it does, if you're going down a country lane and your main beams are on, the car will automatically recognise if someone's coming towards you so it'll dip your main beams, uh, which is really useful when you're in auto mode but you can't use that if you're doing your lights manually, it's got to be in auto for that to work. Now, on this side of the steering wheel, you've got your volume controls on the left for your radio and this is to change your radio station or your track and these buttons here is for your TFT monitor so you can see that there's quite a few options in there now my favorite tends to be a digital speedometer but when you go through it you'll choose what you want you can choose fuel economy uh, your trip you've got your compass to tell you which 
where you're traveling and that also does your satellite navigation so it'll direct you when you've got your sat nav set up then you've got your radio and you've also got your car control so you've got your driver assistance so you've got your emergency brake and you've got your lane departure as well now your lane departure is just down the right hand side next to your steering wheel you can turn that on or you can turn that off on the right hand side of your steering wheel you've got your cruise control and your speed limiter so the bottom one is your cruise you push that in and because we're not going anywhere it's not going to show us um, but you press set at the bottom and that will set you at whatever speed that you're going at right there and then you can go up or down using these buttons or cancel your speed there and it will go back to you driving your speed limiter same same again apart from this limits your speed so you won't be able to go above so you push in the top button push down and your mile per hour will read there now I can do the speed limiter because we're not moving and as you can see it set my speed to 20 miles an hour where I can go up or down and I can limit myself to 30 I can turn it off just there now this here is your voice activation for your phone so you can press and hold this button and you can talk to your phone and ring somebody or you can answer and end your calls using this button if someone gives you a call whilst you're in the car now your stalk for the on the right hand side is your, is your windscreen wipers so up one is just a quick swipe of your windscreen wipers down one is auto then you've got intermittent and then further down you've got fast and this button here that spins is your rain sensitivity for your auto wipers and your speed when you've got it on intermittent now this bit here is your rear, rear wiper so you've got intermittent and full so to wash the windscreen you pull towards you and to wash the rear windscreen you push away right here steering wheel you've got these buttons here so first of all you've got your trip reset which you can turn on and off there and then you've got your dash brightness up or down this is what we talked about earlier with your lane departure so you can turn this on or off so if you're drifting over a lane the car's going to alert you that you're drifting over the white lines now this button here is your start stop for when the engine cuts out when you're stationary now some people don't like this so they turn it off and on but due to the EU legislation now and the government legislation this has to be on every time we start the car so if you don't like it you do need to get in and press that button once you've turned the car on now this here is your main beam dip for when you're driving around with your lights on and now moving across to the door card this button here folds in your wing mirrors and also folds them out manually when you lock the car on this model it is going to fold your wing mirrors in anyway now this button here we can move to the left or to the right and move around your arrows to move which your wing mirrors so you can see exactly what you need to these buttons, this side locks your doors and opens your doors from the inside and this locks your passenger and rear windows. Now both on this model, uh, your driver's window and your passenger window are automatic all the way with one click, but your rear windows are standard so you can wind them up or one. Just to finish we're going to go around the outside of the car, so as long as you've got the keys on you in you and with around you, you can leave them in your pocket and you can just use this button here to either lock the car and you'll notice the wing mirrors go in and when you unlock the car the mirrors stay shut and they'll come open when you start the car up so moving back towards the fuel gauge on the on the duke it's on the right hand side and that goes for all models you just pop it open with a simple push and then you just twist to release and you will hear the car actually sucking a little bit of fuel let's just try and save you every little last bit and then you can lock it again just there make sure that you do select the click and just shut it just push it again you don't need to press any buttons it's nice and simple now around to the boot you do have two buttons so as you can see if you look just under here there's a tiny little button on the right hand side and that is to lock the car and open the car from the outside and then you've got your boot release just on the left now obviously once you're in nice and big boot space now in the jeep and you have got two levels you've got one right at the bottom and then you can prop up the board just on here to give you that raised boot level so you've got a flat loading space just here okay and now finally we're going to go around to the front so if you do ever need to pop the bonnet the release is just on the inside of the passenger seat and then the catch is directly under over the nissan badge just to the right hand side so you push there and lift up Now, under here, we hope that you don't really ever need to touch this other than your windscreen wash. So your windscreen wash is the grey icon there. Just pull that open and you can put that in. And then you've got here, you've got your dipstick and you've got your oil level there. And that's it. That is the handover of your brand new Nissan Duke. And finally, just before we go, we just want to say a huge thank you from everyone at Holcroft Nissan. We really do appreciate your business. And if you do need us, you know exactly where we are. So just give us a call through the usual channels or just pop down and see us.